Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name's are Cha Benedict Marfine. I'm from Com. I live in Bamenda here. So I have uh, I have a testimony and uh, my testimony My testimony goes thus. I have a, a past life that I have to present here which I will be brief about it. I have been living in the dark since when I came here. I used to do terrible things. For instance, I used to drink alcohol. Man of God preached against alcohol. I stopped. I never even had a feeling like drinking any longer. And secondly, I used to smoke. Smoke. I used to smoke. I stopped smoking cigarettes. And it was after Man of God. It was Man of God came into my dream and told me, he gave me a lemon and told me, if you would have taken the next secret, you would have died. And, um, and that is my life. I've been like that. I've had a lot of financial issues, and, but I always have money. I have the ability to have money, but at the end of the day, I don't do, I don't even see anything I realize doing. So um, that is how my life has been in the past. So after when I came to this ministry, I discovered that I was facing a transformation after I submitted my life to Christ. I asked God to forgive me for all my for the sins I've committed and uh, I saw myself a different person. So after that, I have been going through a lot of uh, positive things that have been happening in my life. I will see a lot of good things happening. Um, I think an example of it is a kind of, I don't longer drink, I don't longer smoke and uh, I have been a kind of trying to touch some people around me because I know a lot of people who are seeing me right now, viewers, they, they already know me in and out of this country. I've got half a lot of friends. Yes, yeah, so they know what I've passed, what I've done. So I think my testimony is that which it will touch them. Please, I would like to talk about the situation. Measure came. It appeared in my dream. The first day gave me lemon. I told me if I took this, the, the, the next cigarette, I would have died. And then the second dream, Major was talking to me and he, he told me uh, this is a garden and that this is a garden and I will be walking here but I have a, a, this is my place here I will stay and where I'm staying it will be four months and I will be paid this amount of money. It was nine million, ten million. I don't know what. I can't really figure it out but that is what he told me. And the last one, I used to have a powdery substance that I put in my mouth. When I walk and come back, I'm tired. I poured it in order to rest because at that moment when I was in the dark, I was a kind of always not really free. I don't feel comfortable. So when I take that substance that I used to take, uh, it liberates me from stress. So Major came and told me, you should spit out this thing that you've been putting in your mouth, spit it out. I did, I abandoned it. I want, I want to say that I have experienced a life transformation. I've been, a, I'm a new person because of all this. It, it, it has happened to me, and I want to believe that it is going to happen to so many people who know me because I am somebody a lot of people know. Yes, I am somebody a lot of people. If they see that I have changed, I have a motorbike that I can't carry somebody who, who is uh, maybe uh, transporting alcohol. I can't do that. Neither can I give somebody alcohol to drink. I don't do that. And uh, I want to say that it is a situation where I went to the village, I was seated and there was one of my elderly brother there, he who said, ah, oh, Benedict, Benedict does not drink. And the worst part of it is that he doesn't give it to somebody to drink. And he said, oh, why can I not change to be like him? So I said, thank God. I want to thank God, I want to thank God for the transformation. Because as I stand, I am a pure different person because of the grace here. Yes, I have a good number of advices that I want to give friends and uh, everybody watching me right now. When I have a situation where the advice is because of the, you have to be consistent in your faith. That's true. Because I did. I, I, I came here myself. I did, no, nobody pulled me here. I came myself. Because I knew that I had a problem. Secondly, you have to use your anointing gadgets. I bought my anointing oil. Yes, I had it. 
and uh, when I used to pray, I always make sure that I apply it. Uh, when you have to be, if, when you love somebody, when you see he's love somebody, you really need to sit and pray for that person. You don't just tell somebody you love him or her and you sit behind. You have to pray for that person. Okay. There is another one. You, you, you should come. You should, when you come to this ministry, you need, you need to be disciplined. You need to be disciplined. If you are not disciplined, you will not have it. That is the truth. Yes. The, the last one. You, you should follow your morning devotions. Because I've been following my morning devotions with measure. Lastly, there is grace. That's truth. The grace here is more than what you can see. It is too much. Thank you so much. <laughs>